Okay, so my first and possibly last man review, depending on if they get picked up North Kingdom. Yep, the Kingdom Finale. Man, Queen Sauce is gonna be kind of show go back and fast. Anyway, go. Yeah, I like the show. I mean, not great, but you know, I like a good laugh and they give me one. Um, I if last week got so start out good, but ended the weekly. This one was great, you know, whole time. Like, we got to even more kind of getting me laughs. Can well, I think a couple weeks ago. Um, I don't know, it's not feeling flat, but I just gave the main kit. The first kit was George Washington Shattered Tree Chopper. Which was in the obvious parody of Abe Lincoln Vampire Hunter, and it looked at a mean theater parody. In fact, it was not in the horns of very few, it was actually a general parody, which I prefer. Very funny, and their black kit was Star Wars Earned Fright, which I assume was very Star Wars Earned Fright or something. I don't know, I've never heard of it. But I still got jokes. The middle kit was very good, too, right? Yeah. Well, for the Five and Five, great. It was a Jane Bond parody. You know, it was a more elaborate Five parody, and it was very fun. Number number one, Five, which is why I'm eating Five from Evan. And, um, the. Uh, I mean, first get talked about, I found my favorite. <coughs> Good joke, but when Joker, you know, really hungry at the end, you keep. Okay, next. Next. Benjamin Franklin, Cherry Pie Eater, and he's like, Finally, you know, they uh, like so I got funny in the club, you know. Good cold world pick joke was a good joke with Ben and Donald. Funny and you know, not lot of stuff referring to you know, it was really funny I and mean, I quite liked it. Then most get some good like, you know, I like where it got taken parody called Bacon, which is funny. But I don't know who Winkley needs to show, but he did a spot on impression, like I I don't know if he also did any Nick and Perry been taking me over, but he was great. Um, um, the end get actually you can end get and get being part of the weakest. So it ended up being not the strongest, but definitely one if I liked that a little more. And it had a bunch of people I had not really heard of that kind of joke, like thinking of a guy who joke is that no one for him. Like that, good for Henry, but but not the new one, or a real one, or a real old old one, the TV one, you know, good joke like that. So you know, basically, very good Star Wars parody, and you know, Darth Vader. Also, they do make a Disney Star Wars joke, but it's actually not in a dialogue, but a visual joke, and it it's actually kind of subtle. Well, not subtle, but you know, clever. Yeah. And of course, very end joke is funny, and I just took full advantage of the whole fact you had all these people doing stars and Frank Perry and Star Wars, but I thought that worked really, really well. Now, I like when they take a comic out and do every joke they can with it, I thought it was funny. They got so consistently funny throughout. You know, I think it's a little skit, even the skit will get flat out. First skit was actually a bit longer than usual. I don't know about the trend of the scene finale, but it probably is. Um, black get man a little long. First get the rest of the episode where it gets like like actually a good like you know, featuring like the shellmit which is like a helmet but like a turtle shell. You know, like w warning, maybe uh dumped on by, you know, plumbers, shredders, you know, good sort of some um, dog gay, okay, it's actually quite funny. I mean I can't think of cool get that looking at least entertaining you know, to accept the idea. You know, definitely burn last week, which is kind of really bad final skit. But, you know, still follow that for number last guy. I don't know why to give it, but probably A minus, because, yeah, that good. But, you know what, great. Like I said, but for some reason I, I didn't hate a single part of it, and it was a lot of fun. So, definitely one of the better. Well, for all this is uh, probably the best season. Even though we had like, it's the one where they knew the look that they were doing. Even though there were some weak skits, like you know, the Madagascar Sea parody, which showed they didn't even saw the trailer, you know. But you know, you know, they they definitely steered away from something new. I love, I really love the Mad Event calendar thing. And I also really like the opportunity for pregnant running gag. And I didn't know if I was going anywhere, but it went in a very funny direction. I don't know if we'll keep that Mad Event calendar oh, thing. Yeah. Oh, the one through really got so pretty funny. You can call me baby joke. You all give a cast an A minus. Definitely one of the funnier at so and this one's called Steven. Uh, so we'll be put up in for. Mm -hmm. Well, Steven's so she produced, and it probably get okay. 
prank. I say they could theoretically go on until eventually they run out of ideas, but I'll get to know the students here.